Hello viewers, down in my head is a distracting video game from the Sega 1990s. It was developed by Treasure as a vault of pirated versions nowadays that you can download for free. The Hot Sauce Gameplay Speaking of fabulous gameplay, this game hits hard as a knocking stone. This game would have been perfect for stoners lacking for illuminated images. First of all, you start out as Don and My Hetty running through nuclear missiles, rampaging to destroy the yo dude. Then you get free base tutorial stage as if you need engaging help. You have Hangman, which Hetty clips the hook like creature and flings up or any other direction. That goes for Target Man as well, where he tells you what the boss's weakness is, and finally the weapon storage dude, where he keeps the track of your weapons in hard boss battles. You go through about nine stages with some axe such as Sonic the Hedgehog, Hetty will encounter different types of enemies and luxury tough bosses that will pawn you to death or smash your computer into bits and pieces. This game is difficult with confusing puzzles, a spaceship beam level that will make you confront the pleasing anger. If you don't believe me, check this bad, horrifying trash boss out with some fast upbeat music. Told you so, it's a stretching game that will kick your moldy behind. Other than that, you have obstacles to crave and think over. And to make it even more rated hard, not many lives are continues. What a bull garden I might say. But don't get down, it's a fun experience for the single players that have nothing to do. Am I right? While the storyline is amping, it trickles down to my head to be captured into Toy Village. While being destroyed by a red evil robot, as for the following, Hetty gets put in a dominating machine, but gets an error and flies in a garbage tank. He then busts out and starts the adventure, as I said in the previous section. Sour controls is obvious. You can either bonk your exchanging head on enemies, or jump pretty torches or madness deadly traps. We all know the default is to move around, and so don't be dumb. As for the crafty music, it is bind bottling. One will reap you till you get scared, some will have cheerfulness, and even some will make you drop a donut on Margie's panties. Yeah, I said it, panties. For the beanie graphics, it looks definable. The backgrounds of action figures cockling in the background. Dolls shitting their windows a mile away. I mean, was this a masterpiece to make? The vibrant colors are so visual, they make me want to enter the vortex world that good and if you're an artist then why are you drawing realistic pictures slowly study the art of dynamite heady what a creative magic finally my final grade for this gold death fight game treasure i like how you put a tutorial so now new beginners on will start fresh nine stages is a little short even if you know the pattern of the boss fights it could have been a little bit longer the boss were just right to adjust my playability to conquer them all over again. The storyline is just right for focusing on the streamlined gameplay. The controls are a very easy configuration to handle, so thumbs up for that. The music is very compelling and original and not repeats, so gifted. The, graf the graphics are rough edged, beautiful colors, imagination wide and these backgrounds that are both creative and shoveling good. To overall tragic entertainment for the one players only, a great must buy, I give Dynamite Heady a 9.3. Make a sequel and fly up with the Brito Stars. I'm your host, the Brito Master, and you have just been smacked by a godly amazing game.